Hello everyone, welcome back to Solar Settlers. I uh, I actually haven't decided what exactly to do next in this game. I forget if I had this clear at the end of the last video, but Expert Mode is supposed to unlock not when you get to rank 10 or win a game at rank 10, but when you get to like level 10, which is based on this disgusting like daily quest system, or you know, also you get XP for, like, winning games, but you can't, like, you know, winning a game at rank 1 is just as good as winning a game at rank 23, apparently, according to the XP we've gotten so far. Um, so... But, it turns out, I asked on the Discord, and you can just, like, unlock Expert Mode if you want to, uh, by entering a secret code, so I did that. Um, and so now, we have Expert Mode, and we also have Formants. So, we could... Also, like, how do I, like, I don't understand. I think we got all of the human starting worlds, or all of the human, like, cards. These are special human cards. These might be special human starting worlds, I'm not sure. I don't think they are. I think these are starting worlds for anyone. Um, but I'm not sure. So, and then it looks like each kind of race has a starting world and a few special cards, maybe. And then I don't know why a bunch of these other cards are locked. Are they, like, because I've never found them, I can't get them? Or, like, I just haven't found them before and I'm eligible to get any of them? I'm guessing the latter, because pretty scattered pile of stuff that I have versus stuff I don't have. I don't know. But anyway, where's, where's the back button? Oh, here. So we can basically, we can play Expert Mode Human, or we can play uh, Expert Mode Formid, or we can play Non-Expert Mode Formid. It sounds kind of appealing to go play um, this new race, but I think first I just want to try out Expert Mode. And we're going to do a placement match as humans, because obviously starting at 1 is going to be, like, presumably ridiculous. Um, just like it was on non-expert. I don't know. If one is the best I can do, I guess we'll find out. So I think, yes. As human in expert mode, please place me. So I talked, I think in the last video, maybe some earlier video, about what the deal is with expert mode. And basically, everything costs more... All the, the settlers, or colonists, or whatever, cost twice as much oxygen per turn. Um, but when you settle a colonist, they produce oxygen per turn, so you're kind of rewarded for cashing stuff in early. Um, gain six oxygen or three people. Well... I have a way station, which would let me make people. out of hydrogen. This would go off pretty soon, assuming that I could find enough oxygen to support, like... I mean, I could, I could easily get myself up to five people, which would require ten oxygen. Which is kind of a lot, obviously. But I think it's probably still right to try to do that. Um... Right? And if I can just put down the mining colony, I could actually, like, make some people and then immediately settle them, which would be nice. Or one person immediately settle one of them. Oh, and that's my home world. Okay, that's right, yeah. Oh! And I could settle people here as well. So that would be a way to gain more oxygen and to make up for all the people that I'm gaining here. If only I had two metal, which for now I need a rock world. But I have a way to get a lot of gas, I think, from this thing? I think, I think we'll go with gain, um... Oh, gaining three people gives me six oxygen, so I can pay for the people that way, right? As long as I use the way station to gain some people. 
That only gives me two, so I would need to find one more somewhere. Hmm. Okay, well, it seems like this ought to be playable. On the other hand, the reward for this is maybe better? I, I would love to have an orbital lab and just like six oxygen, I guess is okay. I don't know, give me this. Okay, yes, I read about this already. Oh, you, you get to pick your first goal, right, yeah. Okay. So, we're sending someone over here. Exploring that way. Right? There's a way to get more oxygen. We need to do a lot of exploring, and that's what we have the gas world for. Get a bunch of hydrogen. We really want to find one more way to get people, if we can. It doesn't look like I'll be able to. Okay, but... down the way station like here for example actually here might have been better I don't know I guess this is fine um, you make me some hydrogen you turn some of that hydrogen into a person You make me the oxygen to support that person. And you... Well... I think we just need to, like, grab a little bit of stuff here. Oh, of course. No, th right. This can only make one more person, right? I can't make two more out of it. But I think it would be nice to do that now while I can, right? I was thinking make some metal, but having found this, I think what I wanted to do is go here, make a person go here. So I wasted some hydrogen moving here and then back. Maybe I should have chanced it. I guess it's not wasting. I got to explore, right? Okay, so we made it through day one, barely, <laughs> sort of, I don't know, not barely, we, we prospered, right? We made a bunch of people, and maybe I'll, the production of my people will give me this so in, fast enough that I get my new goal for turn two. I'm not sure how the timing on that works. There's this rock world, okay. So, well, I want to put a mining colony somewhere. Here is probably okay. Maybe here, though? I'm not sure. Okay, I do get a new goal this turn. Good. Uh, I mean, we like both of these. I think we have enough sources of metal that we can... I should be looking at right how how gain eight hydrogen. I mean, I can do that in two turns. I'm not sure I can do it much faster. 
upgrade three planets? Can I do that? I think so. I can play this and this and one of these. And I would love to get eight hydrogen, so sure. So, I think we should upgrade a world. That seems pretty clear. And I guess these guys basically want to just stay where they are, so I'll upgrade this one. I think I... Hmm. Alright, how much oxygen do I have? Because I can make more people out of this as well. Right? Yeah. Um, okay, you are going to make me more hydrogen. I'm fairly sure. I have a lot of moving to do. Even if I get this hydrogen, I need more. You guys are probably just going to make oxygen, and that would get me up to 13 already. So, I mean, I, I, don't know. I think we can we can keep tapping the... Well, the waste station costs hydrogen as well as giving me more mouths to feed. That might be too much right now. I don't know. Maybe I'm a wimp. Because, do remember, it is free to move off of the, the waste station. And what I want to do is, like, go here. Do some stuff there. You know, maybe I can get rid of this deployment center. I was thinking I would use it here, but actually... I kind of want to just chill out here, not leave, right? And I don't know how much the military is helping me right now. The thing is, I kind of want to, like, send two people here. Have them tap the rock world once, and then replace it with a mining colony so that I can keep getting the maximum metal out of it. Oh wait, no, I forgot. I could, yeah, with two people here, I could use that ability twice. The rock world is actually like better than this. I think I kind of want to be able to settle also, I don't know. Uh, send two people here, mine mine, put down the mining colony, send a third person in to settle, maybe? And that, like, pays for itself in terms of hydrogen. Okay, give me a person. It should be okay somehow, right? I guess we're one oxygen short right now. We're going to have someone settle, so it should be okay. Okay, there's this water world. Same as this one. And I have another person go here. Now, one of you does this. Probably both, right? I think so. Did I... Right. I can. If I have someone settle, they actually produce oxygen instead of consuming it. So you guys both do your thing. And I'm like a little oxygen short, right? But if I produce a person and then make that person settle, then instead of having, like, spent stuff, I'm gaining stuff, right? So I maybe should have done that before I left here, I guess. Oh, you haven't you haven't done your thing yet? Oh, cool. All right, so you... I, I think I cost myself some stuff here, but I want you... Come up here. Make another person. Send that person here. Do I want them to give me more medals before I settle someone? No, because then I couldn't settle anyone. So, uh, no. Hang on. You go here. You please settle. Oh, I don't get the production until next turn? I guess that makes sense. Uh-oh. 
All right. Where's my last person? Oh, I don't... Oh, he's gonna die. <clears throat> I thought... All right, I thought the one person... The one oxygen I get from this was gonna solve my problem, but... It doesn't, I think. Okay, well, uh, I have oxygen here. I would like to be able to build this, but I also don't want a person to die, so... I also kind of want to do this. Maybe I should. It gives me less hydrogen this way. But I want another goal next turn. Goals are pretty cool, right? And if I just built this here and not messed up all this stuff, I could easily have enough oxygen. Okay, well... Definitely bungled something in here. Yeah, you don't get the oxygen until after it's charged, alright. Gaining three military is kind of a lot. I mean, I guess this is two. But I think gaining three people should be fairly simple. Ish. I guess, the, like, how am I going to be able to feed 11 people, right? Like, I'm not. So give me... This I might be able to do, although I'm not totally sure. I guess I could just spend a person's turn here and then I would get this, right? And then I can start exploring more. That's probably a good thing to do anyway. Nope, that's not what that does. But okay, assembling people is actually pretty good right now. Maybe I, uh... Maybe this was the right thing accidentally. I thought this was the one that... I didn't read it. I thought this was Carthage, not Novalis. Okay. Um... I don't have five military, I have two. So I need to build this somewhere to let me explore even threes. And all the places I could do it suck. Huh. Yeah, because I don't want to use up a jungle world. They're all so important, right? The only way my people are my people are breathing. All right, let's just do some settling in here. I don't really need you that badly anymore. I think I'm doing okay on hydrogen. Now there's five people, it means I need to find three more oxygen somewhere in addition to what these guys make. I probably should have made a person here, I don't know, I'm like, we're all starving, right? Okay, oh, there's my three. Okay, so send someone down here. A gas world. Let's spend my hydrogen exploring, at least. Another gas world. Okay. And this jungle world. We like jungles, I think. Ah, because I can play this on one now. How about that one? Since it's the furthest away from a person. And now I can, like, explore threes, finally. There aren't that many of those around, but let's check this one out. Ooh. It's all sort of appealing. I think a card is probably best. Hmm. 
case. You can gain military with this stuff. I don't have metal at the moment, but I could get it. I mean, this costs metal also, but you could mine... Well, not yet. If you make oxygen, you guys do your thing. Uh, that is what I clicked, but I kind of meant to just move this guy and delay the decision of whether I'm doing this because there's no particular reason to... Oh, no, there is, because I get more mil... Oh, but I don't... Well... I don't have two people here anyway. So you need to make more oxygen as well. You apparently need to make more oxygen, although maybe I could explore this first. I can't really afford to spend you. You're needed to make oxygen. Or, right, yeah. I think I'll just take a card? Oh. Well, that would have been nice to have a while ago. Cool. You're making metal. And you're going back here for more oxygen. And we lived through the day, just barely. I don't have any water worlds left. I mean, I could build on top of that one, but that obviously feels pretty bad. And I didn't reach this goal, which is too bad. Um, but I, I have like a surplus of oxygen finally, right? I can easily generate six more, which would put me at ten. <laughs> then I just need two more, okay. That's not usually what people mean when they say a surplus is that you don't have enough. Uh, all right, let's head over here, I guess. All right, I mean, we can just settle someone. What is- I don't understand this card? Am I- am I crazy? Okay, so I guess worlds are like cards that can only be played in open space, and I never draw them, but the game plays them on like these op what otherwise would be open space. And then cards I get can be played on... okay. We want to have someone come down here and settle. I'm just like, can I get away with making more people here? We could have someone settle here as well. All right, you're, you're going down here, that's my plan. Although, you can get a free explore in, right, by stopping here and then moving off it for free. Let's see what this is. Nothing, okay. Goal achieved. What was my goal? Oh, gain military, and there was military just sitting here for for exploring it. Okay. Do I spend hydrogen to explore this? I'm a little bit low, but this guy can make more, right? So let's check this out. I think you're just going to make hydrogen, please. <clears throat> you need to come back because you're making uh, oxygen. Okay. <clears throat> so we have a cloning center. I don't know that I can really support a bunch of people right now. 
Expert mode certainly, I mean, the oxygen matters more now. It's not so much that the oxygen matters more, because oxygen always matters, but, it, like, the number of people you have is a problem. You can't just, like, spam people forever and be like, oh yeah, there's enough oxygen for them. So, good news, I don't have to use the way station if I want more people. I can just go over here. Bad news, like, I don't know if I can handle that many people. So, let's just have you make some oxygen. I think you are making oxygen also, which means I can sort of afford some more people, right? I have ten now. I can get three more from here pretty easily. I think I can afford one more person. I'm not sure how great that really is, though. I can send someone in here. I can make, like, two more people, right? Okay. But why don't you just go away now? You're coming over here make two people who are just gonna like make more oxygen or something oh that isn't enough I mathed wrong I was thinking I would be able to have two people move but that doesn't uh... Well, one of those people is just suffocating, huh? I guess it's not any worse than not taking them, I think. Maybe it cost me one net oxygen. I don't know how it works. The other thing is I could discard this artificial world for a card and maybe get some way to make more oxygen out of it. I don't know if I'm that desperate. Oh no, this is enough. I guess I forgot I was getting three or something? I don't know. Settle two people. Well, right now there's no space to settle, but I could find some. Or gain three people. I think that's, like, harder? Well, I don't know. I mean, obviously I can just, I can just click the cloning center a few times and it'll work. Um, I don't really need the starbase. Yeah, and I should be able to find auction for a few more people. Hydrogen is in very short supply, so keep making more of that. You are surely <clears throat> gonna make some oxygen. <clears throat> Maybe I could send you here? Okay, settling there is interesting. I don't think we're quite ready to do that. But we got, we got some card draw as well. <clears throat> Keep in mind, next turn is the last turn of the game. So we want to start, like, in settling people, but I, I just need, ugh, I don't know, give me more hydrogen. Um, you are probably still making oxygen. Now we can feed all the people we have. And we can do a bit more, but not a lot more. I don't have any water worlds, right? Yeah, just this one. I don't need this mine. It sucks. Maybe I should make a person out of it?
Well, one thing I could do, I guess, would be to click this twice and then send two people into here. It costs me four hydrogen, and then I have two people left up here. I could make even a third. Can I feed those people? I think so. Oh, especially because they're mostly going to be going here. I'll just, have, I'll just have one additional person compared to what I have now, right? Or, or is it zero? I can only click this twice, right? Yeah. And then I can settle those two people. And it gets me this. And I can probably do something with that, right? Okay. Right. If I make another person here, only one more can move, but that's fine because I'm moving them here, right? Now I just have one person left, and they're this guy. But I could have another if I wanted. I could settle. I could I could dump this card, which seems good. Because we kind of, like, in order to settle more people, we need more metal. And he could mine here, right? Wait, do I have? There it is, yes. Deserted habitats. So I can't exactly get there fast. I can't get, I don't know, I can't mine, I can't do a lot there, but, you know, with this, maybe something? I don't know. Anyway, this is my last chance to get a person out of it who's going to do something this turn. And I think that's good? The other thing is, like, okay, what about this shit? Am I, like, keeping these cards at all? Like, I don't think I'm spending money on an orbital lab. Let's just discard it and see what we get. Another orbital lab. Now, at, at some point, I can play the underwater colony up here. Like, as kind of my last action to make another settled space. So I'm going to keep it. This, I... I feel a little bit bad about spending a person to make more oxygen just to, like, have one more person right now to make more metal, when I could be getting more hydrogen, which I will also need a lot of. I think I should not do this. All right, let's see what we get out of the artificial world, though. It would make a person next turn. That's probably good. Compared to the oxygen, which I don't particularly need. Let's just put a person producer here. And then I think we're gonna take our last action here to make hydrogen. And see how many of these people we can manage to settle. Not that many, it looks like. I'm not gonna gain three people. Maybe in some universe I gain four metal. I definitely do not need this. Well, I could play it here to move for free, but like, why? All right, that's that's a nice card. Very low metal cost for two uh, things, and it also gives me some military in case that matters. And I can play it anywhere. Well, not anywhere, but lots of places. For example, up on this alien cloning center, where we have a lot of people nearby with nothing much to do. We want to play it near where there are currently people.
<clears throat> so what do we need to do this turn? Well, first of all, I don't need an industrial mine. Just give me a person and maybe I'll do something with them. Do we need a fuel depot? No, that's bad. Give me another person. All right. So there's no place to settle anyone except the cards in my hand and this thing at the moment. If we did more exploring, probably one of these would also have uh, deserted habitats, but these are like located at a fine place. Um, we could send some people here to make metal, to make habitats. Although this actually is even better, right? Metal and hydrogen. And it's near a lot of people. Let's let's send like at least two people here. I guess from this place. And then I'll figure out how many of these guys we still need to produce hydrogen. Also, I think there's no reason to, like, spend a person making a person here, right? Like, we could do it, and it's, like, net neutral, because we don't care if they suffocate, but that seems rude. Like, you're, you're so far away from the action, you should probably just make hydrogen, right? But I guess I can wait to be sure. Oh, I'll get this card if I do this again, which I think I want to do at least one more time. Okay, gives me a new card. Gives me an oxygen that's actually useless, so forget it. Okay. So I think this is like enough oxygen, right? We have nine people ready, and this uh, enough metal. This is enough metal to settle like six of them, which if they all got here, okay, maybe I shouldn't have made that last metal, but I thought the card I got might be cool. I don't know. Maybe that was greedy. So I have enough metal that I can just, if I had unlimited hydrogen, what I would do is send everyone here, build six habitats and settle six people. This guy takes one, two hydrogen to get there. You take one. You take two. You take two. That's two. Ah, it's even... Mm, right. I can do better than that. I don't even need all this sixth metal. I just, like, wasted this person's time. I could have done anything better. Like, make more hydrogen or something. But I, I have these things that... That, um... Let me settle somewhere else, right? Um... Well, in particular, maybe I want these guys to jump into this thing, because they're so far from the action, right? And this water world could take one person, be one of you guys. <clears throat> so, suppose I tried to settle everyone. I could put this down here. I think that's, like, gotta be correct, so let's just do that. Now you, one, two, three, four, five. And if I put the water world here, one, two, three, four, five. Six. I guess I need one more guy to make hydrogen, basically. He's miles from anything. Yeah, okay. You're going to be the only one left outside, I'm afraid. Thank you. 
Yeah, I made way too much metal. Could have had this person do something useful. Um, we're putting this on the water world, but not until someone gets there, right? And these guys, it's not way too much, actually. But you can just go straight here, that's fine. Right? Count the hydrogen. One. Okay, it costs you one to get there. You guys... I'd like you both to get here if I can. And it costs one, two, three each. So I'm actually a hydrogen short. There's this way station, but I don't see how it's helping me. I could also have this guy go straight to here, and then get there for two, but then these guys take more turns to get here, so I think it comes out the same, right? These two spaces are... well... Maybe not. Oh, right, I, I need... hmm, yeah. I can only switch where one of these guys goes. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, maybe that does work? Of course, switching where one of those guys goes is good enough. No, because if I switch, right. If I, if I send, yeah. I can't just send one of each of them here because it doesn't do anything, right? <clears throat> So, I could discard the water world. Does that help somehow? I don't think so. It just makes it harder. Well, I don't know. Maybe I could send one. Maybe I could send all three of them here if I did that? I don't think so. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. No, I'd still be one short, even if I discarded this. <clears throat> okay. So it looks like I can't settle. I can only settle one of these three. Is that right? Well, we could explore here in that case since these guys aren't doing anything useful anyway. Maybe there's a way to settle here. Nope. Um, let's put down this card, though, and see if maybe exploring this tile helps. Let's make sure we still have enough hydrogen for everyone. One. That's how much I need. Okay, that should be enough. <laughs> Okay, so I, I, I drew another hydrogen, and I also drew a place to settle one person, right? So one, two, three, four. So I can do that, okay. Ta-da! Okay, we managed 14 in expert mode. That's not too bad. I think. I don't know. Sure, set my rank to 7. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's a lot lower than in uh, in normal mode, that's for sure. Alright, so we got, we got our feet wet on expert mode. And it was an interesting challenge, for sure. And I think I will continue to play it, rather than playing normal mode, where it's just like... I don't know. 
build the engine as high as you can, which was interesting, but a little bit more... Um... Having, like, kind of unlimited resources, in a way, and trying to op It makes the optimization problem much larger, as opposed to being more difficult. And I think I'd rather have more difficult, smaller decisions, which is what I get on expert mode. So for now, I will play on that, and we'll try Foreman's a placement match, I guess, next time. We placed humans, now we're gonna not play them. Oh, well. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.